So I went into Round Rock, Texas after a gig at Spirit of Texas Distillery in Pflugerville. And I'm looking forward to showing you what the nightlife of Round Rock looks like. I had a good time walking around that little area and checking things out. Now, Round Rock started as a community around a rock that was in this little creek or river that represented one of the lower points or the shallower points of the water so people could cross over with their wagons. The rock was sort of round, and that's how it got its name. The city is located about 30 minutes of a drive from Austin, so pretty close to Austin, and it's got about 120,000 people there. It's been regarded as a good city to retire in, and a safe city, and a good city to raise a family, and noted for its growing economy. So generally, people think of it as a good place to live. Now I'm really glad I took the chance to pop over there after my gig to check it out because I had a really good time. Things were uh, really festive there. I think it was about 10.30 or 11 p.m. at night. They had all their Christmas stuff going up. A lot of holiday spirit there. And it was just a nice uh, little walkable area with a lot of people out feeling like they wanted to get in on that nightlife there in downtown Ran Rock. One of the recognizable things downtown is the water tower right there. And I couldn't help but notice Round Rock Donuts. That place was all lit up and I'd heard about it, so folks really like to grab donuts there. Now there's some notable places to find some candy and get some tattoos there downtown. And there's a number of places where you can find that nightlife and find that live music. The first one that I wanted to check out was Long Branch Saloon. I'd heard that this was a place where they have some dancing and that it's a really popular place. But I just walked by and caught the crowd and caught the music from uh, outside for a little bit. Right next door is Rocky's Piano Bar. And then you've also got Round Rock Tavern right next to that. The Alcove Cantina is a popular place for finding music. And then right across the street from there is the Brass Tap. And a little bit of a walk away, but still downtown, is this place called Urban Eat and Drink, which also has live music, but it's also noted for having some really good food there. So a good amount of stuff going on in Round Rock. I was kind of happy just to go and walk around and get a chance to experience it. Didn't feel like popping into any of the places, so I kept it pretty responsible tonight. Let's turn back to that gig at Spirit of Texas Distillery. This is my second time playing there, and I like how they make all their spirits and their booze. That hard alcohol that'll get you quickly. You know his new red She was really drunk, and a lot of guys wouldn't even have time with her. They were kind of ignoring her. I was like, that's a red flag a lot of times. Uh, I was like, yeah, she's really cute. And I don't have that high scale of uh, awareness of red flags. So, uh, so we set up a date, and I still wasn't sure because I didn't actually know who she was because she was so drunk before I actually met her. But man, that day was a lot of fun. And then eventually I just told her I was moving to Texas as a digital nomad. And I think that scared her away. It scares a lot of people away when they can't understand my lifestyle. So here I am. Now I'm posting about my music and my musical experiences here on this channel. So if you want to see about different Texas cities and the music opportunities or the music scene around Texas, check out the tons of videos I've got on my channel. Hit that subscribe and the bell button to stay tuned on my posts here. Let me know in the comments of any other places that I should be checking out. And thanks for your support.